pesa mucho. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. No. Ah, señor Marston. Mamá, papá. Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. Emilio works as a driver. We will take his stagecoach. I think we should go! It is not too far. I will show you the way. Paren! Papeles! Este camino está prohibido! What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No la dejen escapar! ¡Qué vida esta! ¡Qué demonios! ¡Vamos! ¡Date prisa! ¡Dios mío! ¡La wagon is going straight towards the soldiers!
Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. Wrong, Louisa. I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, yet he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where is he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already. But his family do not approve. How could they? When well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me. The woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him, or die trying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you're truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. El Presidio is to the north. We must hurry. Who knows what they will do to him? Do my best. There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Well, if he's alive, I'll try to make sure he stays that way. I have some friends waiting for me near the river. Bring Abraham there. Good luck. Good luck. Que Dios te proteja.
Untie me! We must escape now while we have the chance! Victoria! Now please cut me free, senor! Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Eh? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Now get us a horse, my friend. I am in no condition to ride myself. Let's hurry to Louisa. Let's go. Louisa sent me. Vamos, get the prisa. The army is coming. Atrás, look out. That fool nearly shot. John Marshall. Oh, the American who was working for Allende. I ain't working for nobody. I'm here because Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women. Luisa, if you want us. I'm here for two men, and that's it. We have been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again. I will write a poem about this day. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. Luisa is a fuckhead. Buena suerte, compadre. Go. There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Oh. Abraham, Mr. Marston. Oy. The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but... I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And you return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La barona de tu babella. Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tu sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. Your master! Good news, good news. The coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. 
¡Dámelo! ¡Dámelo! ¡Besito! ¡Besito! ¡Un beso con pecho! ¡Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. I'll save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Come, my brain. It is time to bring this man to justice. What are you waiting for? This is your chance! Here we are! Go, no, my friend! They're in the church! Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this Levanten esta pizza, mierda! Levántenlo! Maston, hey! Maston. <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if we don't be your own.
You are done! Then move! Señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Marcy. El mundo es muy difícil. Mm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. You know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked 
personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Mercy, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Parson. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagon. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. Vale. Where do you want it? Very one right here. And here. This is good. Another one here. Are you sure you want them so close to each other? Go meet Luisa at the detonator, we will handle the rest. They are coming. Get ready, John. Look, they are coming. Mr. Marston, we are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Wretched animal that Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come, 
We must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Go now. My men will show you the way. I will stay with the camp. Come on! We will speak when we get there. We must save our energy. Until I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! Cuidado. It's no use running to Santa. Here, you snake! Stay away from me! Maten a este hijo de puta! Spare me, and I will make you a rich man. My men will kill you! You get smelly here! <laughs> Let me go! I am begging you! understand that. <laughs> Please, we can come to an agreement. Where is 
is Javier Escuela. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Okay, all right, all right. Shit. All right. Casa Madruga. It's hold up there. Oh, hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go, okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please! I am begging you! He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para México! It is done. Come on! Now we find your friend. Come! I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. We all will, my friend. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Once, long time ago. Not anymore. You're telling me. That sounds about right. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? No, but maybe the girls are all occupied. Javier! Viva la revolución! Too damn close! Javier Escuela. <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place, sauce. <coughs> <laughs> Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you, or me, with... With just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. 
Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Libre México! Libre México! México! Viva la revolución! Their energy is, 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 is like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I knew I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. <laughs> Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. Oh! Lots that's changed what you're since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? God, I hope. Cuidado, John. Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. Come on, John. We have to get to Tuvalosa. Stay with me, John. So how did you meet these Williamson and Escuela? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me? I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like this. Yes, that you're slowing us down, Marston. I don't know, but I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything, in everyone. Let's go. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. Vamos! I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. Oh, watch what you're writing. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who feeds his son, and then the son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. 
How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Carajo, cuidado, John. Nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel love. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen. This train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Huh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. Suave! Allende es tu hombre muerto!
like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. What are you waiting for? We need to get into that armored car. Here's the track. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. Aquí no más. 